In the circuits shown, the power supply has an electromotive force greater than the normal operating voltage of the lamp. So I'm assuming in this picture, power supply will be this connection here, and it's bigger EMF than what the lamp needs normally. Internal resistance is negligible, that's good. The resistance of the variable resistor is adjusted from zero up to maximum. So R, ooh, this fellas, I'm just gonna label this, this resistance can change from zero to maximum value, lah. don't know what that is. So in which of the circuit could the voltage across the lamp change from zero to normal and not exceed normal operating voltage? See, the, the danger with exceeding is, oh, if you exceed, oh, warning, you might blow your light bulb. Explode, boom, because too much voltage supply already. Okay, one example could be this. Lah. Let's say I have 240 volts. Come inside there. Your, your, your light bulb can only maybe use 10 volts. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just going to create. So this is 10. Let's say this is the limit. So somehow, you need to adjust in such a way where you cannot exceed 10 volts on that light bulb. So this other thing, we have to take a share of 230 volts. At least minimum. Because you could always switch up a little bit. Uh, and maybe you take more than 230, maybe you go to 235 volts, then your light bulb will have lesser already. Low. Here you only got 5 volts. But it's a share-share process. This one plus this one will give you 240, which is the original supply. So we look at all these things. Uh, we want the resistors to change in such a way where you want a share of bulb energy. Not too much, no too little. Let's see how to look at all these possible choices. Let's first cancel out those things that are dangerous, that will confirm make your light bulb explode. Okay, so let's start with the first one, A. Let's say EMF is here, and we go from zero resistance. Okay, we try zero resistance. So this, this R here can be changed, right? So let's say R is zero. Um... If R is zero, that's a bit dangerous. You know why? Zero means no potential drop across it. It's not going to take any energy. It's just like a, a wire connected. Lah. No resistor at all. Ma. So you're not even going to share any energy at all. So I'm mean, just going to put a zero here. So that means all the EMF is all going to go to the parallel section here. So across the bulb and the resistor, full E. So if your E is 240 volts, this E here is 240 volts and that is, no, 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 that's not good. You are going to blow your bulb. It doesn't matter what resistance you put here. It will not affect because here is parallel, parallel. So you kind of blow the bulb. Okay, so A is dangerous. Explosion is going to happen when you turn it on and you set zero. So it's done. Dangerous, dangerous. Probably not the answer. Let's check out B. Start with the safety first, huh? So let's say EMF is provided here. There will be some potential taken here already. Okay, so this is fixed. Hmm. All right. Then here, if we take R0, let's say there's no zero, res zero, zero resistance up there, what's going to happen? So this will be an interesting case because then the current will flow in a manner like this. Current will come here, okay, pass through this one, got potential drop, don't know how much. Then come here, it'll be like, the bulb got no got resistance, huh? got resistance. Huh? But then why go through the bulb when you can go through no resistance? Okay, so all the all the current will just flow through the top. It's just like a wire, a short circuit there. Lah. So your bulb will not light up. Hmm. In When you have R0, okay, so bulb is safe. And where will all the EMF be? Most of the EMF will be deposited across this particular resistor. So this bulb is safe. It didn't explode. So I think it could be the answer. But we'll go through the rest first. Cancel out the dangerous one. Bulb explodes straight away. We throw away. Dila. E here. Okay, you get the idea. We're going through the same thing. Um, we have another problem here. If this is R0, it's like a straight line. Like there's nothing there. No resistance. So the full EMF goes to the bulb and they make it explode. Boom. Not gonna survive. Nope. This is not gonna work. 
You had you just don't, you haven't even turned anything your bot already explode. Okay. Next. The bulb did not survive. Let's see. This one. If R is zero. Okay, it might survive. Current will then go through the top. Like it's a, a wire without resistance. The bulb will not light up at this point, but it's okay. At least it's safe. So it looks like out of the four. A and A and C are not gonna work because you're gonna kill the bulb straight away. So it's down to B and D now to see which one will actually work properly. Okay, so let's see. Back to this one. Actually, no. Since we're down at D, let's look at D first. So at R zero is possible. It could work. Bulb is safe. What about if R is maximum? Let's say very high. Then we gotta say, oops, now we have some resistance. Quite big. How much compared to the bulb? I don't know. But you see, here's a problem already. If your resistance is too high, hmm, what's gonna happen? Uh? You are going to have some kind of EMF across this whole thing. Once you have some resistance, uh, because these two are in parallel, uh, so the current will come and split. Current split across two parallel roads and then go back to battery. So now this is where you have a problem because if you have a certain, if, if you have any resistance up there, you're going to have a full power of uh, EMF across the lamp, which is also going to cause it to explode. And no matter how you change this, you cannot affect this EMF down here. <gasps> oh no! So the EMF across the resistor on top is also E. EMF or potential difference across your light bulb is also E. And it does not matter how you change R, you cannot change the E. So let's write out the danger here. This R does not affect PD across the bulb. So although your bulb is safe when R is zero, once there is some resistance, your bulb is gone. Because once again, if this is 240 volt, this bulb gets 240 volt. Full on! Pam! Boom! Another problem. <laughs> okay, D is not going to work too. No, 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 no. Okay, that leaves us with the last choice. So we go to B. Let's see. How is this safe? Okay, R zero is okay. Because when it's zero, current will just bypass the bulb all together. What if R is not zero? Some R value. Like that. Okay, so now current can flow through both the the variable resistor and also this lamp down here and release some light. Queen. Okay lah. This this light is a bit cha cha. Maybe I'll just do this. There we go. Okay, so now there's some light going through. What is the potential difference across that? Hmm, we gotta change a bit already. So now Potential difference of E is shared between the two series sections. So first one here, V1, and the second one here, V2. Same line also for the resistor up here, this is also V2. So I'm going to just ignore that. So in this case, you can adjust it to be safe in such a way that you make sure you don't exceed maximum. For example, maybe I say... Maybe the bulb provides 240 volts. Mm, okay. Then I'll take 230 volts here by choosing some value of resistance. And that means this one over here can have two, oh, sorry, 10 volts. You can control how much is being shared. Mm, I like this. This kind of works. The bulb seems to be okay. If you're wondering, Miss, then what is this resistor for? Why, why is this even there? Oh, because you can change brightness, ma. Change brightness. By turning the knob, you know, you turn the knob, the, the light become brighter, those kind of things. Yeah, this could work like that. And also keep the bulb safe. Because once you change R, the current in the bulb, let's call this I1 and call this I2. I1 and I2 can be different and that will affect how bright the bulb is. Because you can think of this as P equals to I square R of a bulb. So power of bulb depends on how much current is flowing through it if you assume the resistance is constant. 
So, change brightness by affecting current through the bulb. It's for bulb, ma. Alright, so that's all for this question. Kind of a bit strange way to think through it logically, question by question. But hopefully over time you get faster when doing circuit questions like this. That's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.